What's going on guys? As you can see in front of me here, I still have piles of DVDs stacked up. Just haven't had the chance to sort through them. You can also see they're sitting on top of a brand new DVD rack, which I built about a week ago now. I just haven't had the opportunity to really sit, sort through, alphabetize the movies, and put them on the shelves they belong. So keep that in mind, because I am going to continue on with my shelf-by-shelf -shelf collection overview. And there may be a few titles in these piles that belong on the shelf I'm about to show you, but I just haven't had the chance to put them there yet. So moving on to the next shelf, the first one on here is Death Becomes Her. This is a fun movie. I used to watch this one a lot when I was younger. Next is Death Dream, directed by Bob Clark, who also directed Black Christmas, Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, and A Christmas Story, based on the short story The Monkey's Paw. We have Death Machine, starring Brad Dura from the Child's Play series and Rob Zombie's Halloween and Halloween 2, of course. Next is The Death of the Incredible Hulk. We have the Best Buy exclusive steelbook of Death Proof. This has an exclusive third bonus disc, only available um, in these Best Buy sets. Then the regular two-disc version of Death Proof. Next, The Deaths of Ian Stone. I still have not had a chance to watch this, but I am really curious to check this one out. Um, I just kind of keep forgetting about it. Sounds really cool, sounds like a cool idea, and I've heard some pretty good, thing, pretty good things about it. Next, Deception, starring Hugh Jackman, Ewan McGregor, and Michelle Williams. It's a cool movie. Next is a good Christmas movie, Deck the Halls, starring Danny DeVito and Matthew Broderick. And we have Deep Red, Dario Argento, of course. Next, a Masses of Horror episode, and it's Dear Woman, directed by John Landis, from season one. We have Definitely Maybe, romantic comedy. Um, I do enjoy certain romantic comedies from time to time. Next, Delirium. This is the out-of-print Anchor Bay release. Next is a double feature DVD, and I have it here because of Dementia 13. And it's None of the Living Dead and Dementia 13. And we have a standalone version of Dementia 13. This one is actually out of print and uh, fairly rare, actually, this edition. Next is a triple pack of Demonic Toys, Dollman, and Dollman vs. Demonic Toys. Next, Demons. As you guys know, I have finally picked up Demons 2 just recently, but I haven't had a chance to put it on the shelf yet. Next, Dennis the Menace. This is the special edition. Now, inter inter interesting trivia fact, um, for those of you who don't already know, the director of this film is actually Nick Castle, who played the original Michael Myers in John Carpenter's Halloween, so I think that's pretty cool. Next, The Dentist. Pretty underrated film, in my opinion. I really enjoy this one. And we have The Departed. Great film, directed by Martin Scorsese. Really cool ending. I, li I love the ending in that film. Next, Derailed. Starring Clive Owen, Jennifer Aniston. That's a pretty good one. Next is a Midnight Movies double feature of the range in Motel Hell. I know at one time this was out of print and, and very rare, pretty valuable online, but I'm not sure if it's uh, back in print now. Next is another double feature, Descendant, and also includes bonus movie Roman. Both actually really cool movies. Um, I never hear anybody talk about them, but I actually really enjoy both of them. Next, The Descendant, starring George Clooney. Really good movie. We have The Descent. This is the original unrated cut. I know a lot of people like this one. Definitely a modern horror classic. We have Despicable Me. 
I actually thought this was a pretty funny movie. I um, really liked this one. As, as I said before, you know, I'm not huge into animated films, but this is one that I really enjoyed. Next, one that I actually rewatched uh, last weekend. That's Devil. Really cool movie. Love the premise in this one. Um, nice little twists and, and turns in here, and I really enjoyed this. Next is Devil's Reign. It has John Travolta, very, very young John Travolta. Also claims to be the absolutely the most incredible ending of any motion picture ever. <laughs> I love how it just uh, you know self-proclaims that. We have The Devil's Rejects, unrated. Awesome movie. Next. Dick Tracy, one of my favorites growing up. And then also the re-release of Dick Tracy, which is slightly different. Title on top and a few other minor differences. Next, Die Hard. This is the Steelbook Edition, which is now out of print. Die Hard, this is the original um, Fox DVD release. We have the Steelbook edition of Die Hard 2, which is also out of print. I love the Die Hard films. And finally for this shelf, one of my favorites, Disturbia. I think this is a great modern day suspense thriller, whatever you want to call it. Awesome movie, great cast. Um, I really like Shia LaBeouf in this one. I think it's a great you know, somewhat of a remake of, of Rear Window, um, Alfred Hitchcock's classic, of course, but really, really love this one. Great storyline. There's, there's some cool creepy some cool creepy scenes in here, and, uh, you know, I, I really like, um, you know, the killer in this, and, I don't know, just, just some really memorable scenes for me, and I really, really enjoyed this. So that's it for this shelf, guys. Um, as always, please comment below. Let me know what you think. If you're curious about any of the titles I've shown, um, you know, if you're not really ha if you haven't been aware of one and you just like to know a little bit more about it please feel free to ask and i'll be back soon to continue this shelf by shelf overview thanks guys